Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Friday, 3rd of April. Another day in the lockdown. I think it's number eight now. One's almost beginning to lose count. I don't know about you, but I find myself liking to ask questions. I like to have answers. What is happening? Why is God saying anything to us? What is God saying to us? But here's my thinking. Maybe those are the wrong questions to ask. Maybe at this time, the questions or rather the answers to those questions may come later. But certainly at this time, perhaps what we should be doing is simply looking to God, seeking his face, just dwelling in his presence, in the hope and the faith that God has not deserted us. He will never desert us. But to simply seek God's face and to be in a time of quiet. And the psalm reading from this morning morning prayer spoke quite powerfully, powerfully to me. And I want to read just those first few verses to you. So Psalm 105, reading pretty much the first five verses. Psalm 105. And the psalmist says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Tell among the peoples what things he has done. Sing to him, O sing praises, and be telling of all his marvellous works. Exult in his holy name, and let those that seek the Lord be joyful in heart. Seek the Lord and his strength, O seek his face continually. Call to mind what wonders he has done, his marvellous acts, and the judgments of his mouth. And so instead of asking questions of God, instead of demanding answers from God, we, we still in faith pray for healing, for deliverance and guidance. But when it might appear that nothing is happening, seek God's face, exult in him, remain faithful and committed to him. I want to read also from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. It's chapter 4, verses 7 to nine. Again, it's from the readings of today. And I think, again, Paul touches the right point and it speaks to us. He says, but we, those are Christians, we have this treasure, the gospel, the good news of Jesus in jars of clay, in our human frailty, to show this or to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. Dear friends, in the midst of our questions, seek God's face, tell him how good he is, because that reminds us how good he is and that he is always with us. God bless. Have a wonderful day.